All right, in the video you guys are about to watch, you're about to see Sentimental Gerbo. So I started off the Valentine's Day with Tom and my girlfriend. We weren't really doing anything because clearly I had something planned. Okay, this is gonna be a Valentine's Day vlog and I really don't know what we're doing. So, happy Valentine's Day. I got her flowers yesterday. Don't nobody say bad boyfriend in the comments. Got her these. I had them delivered to my work because, well, I wasn't gonna go get them. <laughs> So what's on the agenda today, huh? You're asking me? Yes. You're just supposed to plan it. Well, you said you want to do anything. All right, well, I'm going to kick off this Valentine's Day by going home, so bye. And after I told her I was going home, I could tell that she was ticked off a little bit, but she didn't really want to make it known, so that's when your boy went to his car. <laughs> I feel like she got no clue what we're doing, because clearly by the title of the video, you guys already know I'm not going home. I'm going to set up a surprise. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, I get a little sketched out, because sometimes she be acting like she don't know, and then she secretly knows. So, I mean, at this point, who cares? So I did put in order at Party City to go get balloons so I gotta go pick those up and honestly Party City came this close to having a bad review from me because I went into Party City earlier to get like some other supplies and tell them that you know I want balloons and I already had in mind that they were gonna be forever because I mean it's Valentine's Day a lot of people were there regardless so the lady who helped me out tells me she's like oh it's about to be like 35 minutes is that okay I said yeah that's fine so I came back here ate waited about an hour or so and then I went to go pick them up. But as soon as I got in there, the Party City worker was like, um, you, you ordered balloons, right? I was like, yeah, I had like seven heart-shaped balloons. Oh, okay, it's because we were trying to find out who they were and we were going crazy trying to figure it out. And I was sitting there like, okay, so do you have the balloons? <laughs> oh yeah, we'll do them right now, we got you. So I had to wait another five to 10 minutes, but it was whatever. And then as soon as I put them in the car, one pops. All right, as you can see, bag secured over here, but we lost a little fella on the way. One of them popped right now, so hopefully none other pop when I get to the hotel. So I'll see you guys once I'm in the room. And everything up to this point was working to a tea except for when I got to the hotel I tried to check in a little early and they were like oh sorry we have nothing available it's gonna be about two and a half hours well I try to check in right now but uh, they don't have any rooms available I guess now I don't know what to do for two hours so hopefully everything goes right still God, I hate planning so much I swear on everything so to kill time I came back here played the switch for about two hours and then I went to go check in all right, well, I just checked in, and I guess I'll give you guys a little room tour before I start decorating. So. All right, so we got a little hallway at first. I think I'm gonna put like road petals and like the flowers I bought too. But here we got the main action court. Then you got like a little kitchen type thing over here with another sink. A closet that lights up as soon as you open the door. It's just tight watch. Uh, oh, oh, this one ignites it. Another mirror here. Damn. And the blinds, which lead to. <gasps> Oh, I'll park hell no. But it's all good because I'm only here for a night, so I don't even care about the view. But I do have to rearrange some stuff around because I think I'm gonna put these balloons around the bed to make like, I don't know, more aesthetic, I guess, than just having them all in one. I gotta move pretty fast because I only have like two hours, plus I have to go get tacos that I'm gonna put in this tin can. I tried to get one that was shaped like a heart, but nobody wanted to have one. It was either buy a pack of 100 or none at all. I don't know, should I try to form it into a heart or should I just do it like that? I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I have a little bone to pick because I bought this lamp, which doesn't even show the shape on it. It's a damn heart. And it was advertised on Amazon, fucking Jeff Bezos. It was advertised that these take AAA batteries and your boy came prepared with AAA batteries. But Jeremy, why don't you just put them in and make it work? I can't because now they're only taking AA for some reason, but it comes with the USB port. So hopefully it works. I don't know, dude, this is pissing me off already. Everything's going sell. Okay, good news, good news, good news, great news, great news. Not too bad news, I guess. The heart works, but it's got to stay plugged into the wall. So I think I might try to tuck it in behind the pillow and try to hide it, but I don't know. Let's just roll with it. Low key, not too bad. You can't even see the cord at all. Shit, I'm down. And when I was setting up, I thought that I had mad time because I had about two hours and I thought, you know, damn, I'm going to get done pretty early. That is until I opened the packages of fake rose petals. I ordered 2,000 of them. And there was like 20 little bundles of like God knows how many of them, but they were all individually wrapped in plastic. So that was the most time consuming. That shit took me like an hour. All right, I'm gonna put these rose petals up. Hello, plastic. God, these feel like ass, bro. 2,000 years later. I don't know how or why it took me this long, but I just realized I have to clean all this shit up. I'm gonna let you guys know now, I wasn't the one that cleaned it up, my girlfriend did. All right, let me show you guys what I got so far. So right when you walk into the door, you see all those roll pedals, and you got those candles right there. They're gonna be on, so. Then it leads to all the way to the bed right here, and then there's gonna be tacos in that tray. And then I still gotta put these balloons up like around the bed and stuff. But you guys are gonna see the full thing when she sees the full thing, so. All right, as you guys see in the background, everything is good, so now it's time to go pick her up. And now it's time for the main course of action. So so we pull up to the hotel and she's like, what are we doing at a hotel? What do you mean what's going on? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, bitch. Oops. Why are we at a hotel? And I told her I reserved the whole back room of the restaurant at the hotel. Because the restaurant's here pretty good. See? I told you. I rented out the whole table. The whole back I rented out. It's time for the surprise. All right, well, you guys seen her reaction and she's still kind of in shock. But we do have a full day planned tomorrow. I don't know what we have planned, but we're both off. So we're probably going to celebrate Valentine's Day that day and go out and do things because everybody knows on actual Valentine's Day is dummy pack. Well, I'll pick it up tomorrow. So we enjoyed our night. And the next morning, we actually went to go eat breakfast at the restaurant downstairs. Well, it's the next morning. We got done with breakfast. We ate a, I think it was called the vegetable scram. It was at the restaurant that was downstairs. And if I'm being honest, I give it about a six out of 10. It was okay. Uh -huh. And now we are going to the mall. And to the mall we went. Now we didn't really have a set reason to go to the mall, we just really wanted to go. Now the first thing I bought for the mall was some work shoes because that was a necessity. My other shoes were just beat. Then as we were walking, I spotted this one store called, I believe it's Sports Treasures or something like that. And I picked up pop figure Manny Machado. Then we just kept walking around a little bit longer just wanting to spend money. So I picked up a new mouse because I didn't know that Apple had a black one. I was using this white one, but it was pissing me off a lot because it's old. You have to like actually put in batteries here. This one you could just charge with a cord. So say less then after the mall we went to go eat at the restaurant That's all over TikTok called the melting pot now You don't have to get it, but we got like a full four course meal You could just go in and pick like whatever you want if you want like the fondue cheese on its own or just the chocolate You could do that as well But I wanted the four course meal because well, I mean I'm big and if I'm being honest They had me in the first half not gonna lie They gave us this pretzel bed that you just dip in the cheese along with broccoli and Surprisingly the apples that I dipped in were pretty bomb with the cheese and the second course They brought out was a salad which was honestly bomb and then for actual dinner you were able to to pick if you wanted to like boil your food in like a broth or if you just want to cook it on a skillet and normally I would cook it on a skillet but we wanted to do the experience so that's why we did the cook it in the broth and I feel like I would have liked it just a little better if I did the skillet but who cares the meats that we got were pretty good but the sauces just made it way better in my opinion their sweet and sour sauce was fire and when it was time for dessert and they brought out that chocolate fondue our waitress asked us oh did you guys want to record this part for social media and I was like uh sure and I didn't really know what she was gonna do until I seen her pour some liquid into the chocolate so I thought mm, that was a little odd and then she just sets the entire thing on fire and they gave us like a tray to dip like different types of foods fruits inside the chocolate but if I'm being honest the pound cake that one was fire with the chocolate but would I go back to the melting pot probably just for the cheese for real but if you're thinking about trying the melting pot for yourself and you're lactose intolerant Shit, good luck. And that's gonna wrap up this one. And honestly, I've been kind of liking making YouTube videos a little more. So let me know what you guys wanna see.